good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Afternoon comes before evening, but never mind. Whatever time it is for you, hello. For me, it is the morning, hands the puffy face and a slow brain. But my brain is slow all the bloody time. <laughs> so, never mind. so today we will dive into my baskets of magic and pleasure and wonders and happiness and fun and you know what I mean. So we will start our first activity and the one that I love to do with my students at the beginning is called name five things or I sometimes reduce it to name three things or sometimes just name something, tell me something, talk to me, speak to me, please, please, please. So as you can see Every paper starts with name, 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 name. So I will ask you to tell me some words from different categories. Uh, I love doing this activity right at the beginning, you know, like after I have a trial lesson with my students, which reminds me that I should have made a video about the trial lesson first. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of forgot about it. Okay, next time. So this is the first activity that I pull out when I um, have a new student because um, my students are quite nervous. You know, we just had a trial lesson. They kind of don't know what to expect. They feel really nervous and they think that their English is awful and just to give them a little bit of confidence and make them feel a little bit more comfortable. I like to choose something quite easy right so for example i would ask you name five things which are yellow so it's about just naming words which are connected to the word yellow <laughs> so you don't have to create any like structured sentences it's just about naming things which usually students find quite quite easy and because i just don't want you to be just naming things i do have some um follow-up questions or some of these ones are actually quite deep so it's not only about naming things but i usually start with the easy ones and then we get into the more deeper ones and we can get into some deep conversations right from the start yeah <laughs> also i like this activity because it makes you activate your english brain so when i say the word yellow for example there is no space for you to go like oh yellow you know in my native language it means this so you know this is the thing that is yellow in my native language so what is the translation I'm doing this because it kind of like makes you come up with those words quite fast this activity originally is like you've got five seconds to name you know five yellow objects go and just because of the pressure <laughs> your english brain is activated and usually there is there is no space for translating anything so it's like your english brain that is doing the work and that's what we want we don't want translating we want your english brain to be present and your native brain you know to go for a walk you know we don't want it in the lesson or when we speak english we don't want your you know native uh, brain to be there with us no send it away yeah just 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 leave it somewhere put it in a closet yeah and let it stay there <laughs> i will ask you those things i will put it onto the screen and i want you to stop the video and try to answer those things by yourself you can do it in your head you can just practice thinking in english that's fine but just please try to open your mouth and try to say those things out loud please just just trust me it works it works it feels weird you're going to feel like a little hoo -hoo, but that's what happens <laughs> that's what happens yeah anyway so shall we dive in first one is name three things which are yellow <laughs> The sun for example or a banana or a lemon and the sand on the beach is it yellow it maybe it's a bit more like orangey yellowy kind of a color yeah the last one will be <laughs> do you know what I love when my students do <laughs> when they say a yellow t-shirt a yellow car a yellow book <laughs> which is possible like they are correct but right some yellow vegetable 
Pumpkin? No, that's orange. Butternut squash. It's a bit yellowy. Inside. Yeah, butternut squash. Yeah. Another thing will be name three things which you can find in a bathroom. So in the bathroom, we've got towels, toothbrush, the bath top, the shower head, um, 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 toothpaste, um, floss, the, the flossing tool that I know, don't know the name of, uh, tiles on the walls, and things like that. <laughs> name three things that have a zip or a zipper. In British English, it is a zipper. In uh, America, or zipper. In British English, it is a it is a zip. So. handbag right the classic ladies handbag any type of backpack or rucksack jeans have a zip um oh my god this is harder than i thought because <laughs> i usually don't do this my students do this oh my god it's a lot of pressure yeah coats jeans trousers okay name three things which are sharp So we've got a scissors, knife, words. Words can be sharp, you know, when somebody is like not speaking very nicely to you, you know, the words can cut you just like a knife. There is actually an English saying about this that words cut deeper than a sword. Is that the correct one? Probably, yeah, sword, yeah, historical weapons, yeah, axe, yeah, hammer. Is hammer sharp? Not really, but the nail is. Screws. <clears throat> Next one is name three of your dream jobs or some jobs uh, that you wanted to do at some point in your life. I wanted to be a writer. I really enjoyed writing essays, but again, not really stable job, you know, quite unpredictable, not very secure. A travel guide because I love traveling and I thought oh my god like what a great combination right you can combine traveling and like working you know and you would be just like talking to people about the history of the places and it could be quite cool. and I also wanted to be a police officer but just because I hate violence um, and guns and blood and horrible people I decided not to. Name three things that you like to do on a rainy day. I feel like rainy days are quite, it, it's like a good excuse for being lazy and not doing anything. Do you know, because when it's raining outside, you know, you can't be outside, so you can just be inside. So it's a great day for cleaning. Although I don't have that much time, so this room is a mess, but I do like cleaning, you know, just putting some lovely music on and when you just do it, just doing nothing. Do you know, watching TV or some TV series, but mainly, yeah, going to sauna. Yes, I love sauna. Go to some lovely spa center and just spend a couple of hours in, in, a, in a sauna, just chilling and doing nothing, just relaxing. Yeah. Name three things that need electricity. So your laptop, your phone, your fridge, your kettle, the oven, everything. Actually, everything needs electricity. Name three food items that you are craving right now. But, um, craving, some students don't know what it is. So when you crave something, you have this like intense desire for something. It's like your body is screaming like, give it to me give it to me the only thing that you can think of you usually use it with food so you know if you are like craving pizza you know in your head in your eyes you can see just pizza 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 is everywhere and you really want to have it so that's 
when you crave something your body is calling for that you could be craving some other things you could be craving i don't know exercise yeah you could be craving traveling for example when you just want to get out of your house you could be craving the nice weather when the sun is shining it's a very intense desire for something so can you tell me yeah what food you, you're craving right now I'm craving melted camembert. Oh my god, I've got this obsession with melted cheese. I don't know why, I just I just love it so much. So melted camembert, melted camembert, melted camembert. I actually <laughs> I actually uh, make something which I call camemberger, which is like a version of a like of a, of a burger, but there is a melted camembert in the middle. Like that's something that I would die for. Uh, can you name three stationary items? Pens, pencils, erasers, which is American, I mean a rubber, <laughs> in British English. What else do we have? Rulers, papers, notepads, notebooks, um, paper, 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 paper. <laughs> markers and and paper paper <laughs> okay next one is name three advantages of the internet okay so internet is great because you can study english online yeah you can use your dictionary online you yeah. um, you can watch YouTube videos in English you can watch a TV series in English and um, you can find a lot of English uh, things in English <laughs> bam, 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 bam. name three of your favorite months so June July August I love when it's hot I love the summer although my doggy yeah, my lovely little doggy. He doesn't like when it's too hot because he is very fluffy and it's a little bit too much. So I'm actually quite excited for autumn because it's not too hot and we can go for a run together. So actually October, October. Yeah, the temperature is not too cold and it's, it's quite lovely. Yeah, so the summer months, the spring months, but not not winter, not winter. No, 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 no. I hate bloody winter. It's <laughs> name three things you associate with Italy. So pizza, pasta, yeah, pizza, pasta, C C C, um, fromage. That sounds a bit French. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Pizza, pasta, cheese, wine, and really lovely people. I've had some students from Italy, and I have to say that they are just full of sun. They just really are. People just have a lot of energy. They are just, you know, full of the sunshine. You know, I just love them. All the people from South America. There is something about these nationalities that they genuinely, they've got their, like the, the sun in their heart and they've got a lot of like energy and a lot of positivity and it's really lovely. Then name three things which are crunchy. Again, the word crunchy, it means <laughs> it means crispy something that you know makes the sound when you break it for example chips uh, i mean like french fries yeah so chips in british english french fries in american english for example if you get these mcdonald's ones they are like crispy on the outside and soft in the middle then we've got um chips slash crisps oh my god this is really messy bread fresh bread you know when you take it out of the oven you know when it has the 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 crispy and crunchy crust on on the outside oh my god the smell of fresh bread yeah and melted camembert best combination in the world right Name three things which are slow.
my brain <laughs> in the morning um, and in the afternoon and in the evening yeah my brain <laughs> then a snail so it's like turtles or tortoises what's the difference between a turtle and a tortoise do you know yeah so turtles they live in water and tortoises are those big old ones <laughs> Not all that they can they can live for a long period of time and they live on the land name three famous things about your country So for me it's definitely beer which I don't understand but I do I do get it But I just don't like the taste of it. It's way too bitter, but Czech men, you know, they love Beer and apparently it's the best beer in the world and everything else tastes like water Which is something that I do agree with if you taste like British beers I'm sorry, but it's it's like a Czech beer like half and half like mixed with water You know Czech beer is really rich in taste so that one then ice hockey like we do have a good ice hockey team football I guess we have some great great uh, sportsmen in football um then okay next one is name three best motivations oh my god we are getting deep so what is the best motivation I think like a genuine passion for something if you genuinely like something and you really enjoy doing it that's the best motivation because you just want to be doing those things so for example when you're studying English right and you choose the way that you genuinely enjoy that's the best motivation because you just like enjoying the process you just love it you are excited for it and you know that when you when you study you will have a great time and that's why films tv series podcasts and you know watching my videos <laughs> is the best uh, motivation you know because it's a good time you know fun fun is the best motivation I think for so many people it is money I guess if you are rewarded or some sort of reward if you are rewarded for things and for what you're doing for example at work if you are paid a little bit more for something then that's that's a good motivation I don't know that the fact that you can help somebody you know, having a purpose, doing something meaningful and getting this fulfilling feeling. <laughs> you know, like helping people. If somebody is in trouble or they ask you for help, you know, that, that reward, this emotional reward that you can get um, when, you, when you help somebody. Which one is it? I'm actually not saying five things, you know, but it's okay. I'm the teacher, you are the student, you do it. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have to <laughs> because I'm the boss. <laughs> Name three ice cream flavors. Chocolate vanilla, although vanilla is just so boring. Like the, quite a lot of students, you know, they, they love vanilla flavor, which I don't understand. It's a little bit pointless and boring. Or maybe it's just a good old classic or whatever. But then you can have like, I don't know, strawberry, lemon, blueberry, whatever. Nowadays they're quite creative and you can have like Oreo and, you know, Snickers and like all of these like chocolate bars that, you know, they mix with, uh, with the actual ice cream. Okay, next one. Oh, name three of your favorite comfort foods. Do you know what a comfort food is? Do you know? Do you know? It's some type of food that makes you feel good and comfortable. Yeah, and usually it is something dirty, something naughty, which means like not quite healthy. Right, so it would be usually pizza, burgers, melted cheese, <laughs> or something you know that is that is not like you know like listed in those like healthy diet plans. Yeah. So for me, it's definitely yeah. I love a good burger. I love pizza. I love yeah melted camembert. Have I mentioned it before? <laughs> and um, I'm not. I, I don't have a sweet tooth as much so it's more about you know like these um like meaty cheesy 
bready things that I that I that I that, that I love and that make me feel. Name three types of doctors. Um, the eye doctor, the nose doctor, the ear doctor. <laughs> Like we've got the pediatrician who is looking after uh, children. Then we have the dentist. We have the ophthalmologist. I know that one because um, the other day I pierced my eyeball with one of my lovely plants. Yeah, they are dangerous. Yeah, they try to kill me. Uh, then you can have a surgeon, cardiologist and some other ones. Yeah. <laughs> Name three things that age well. Yeah, by the way, the word age, um, again, it is a noun, but also it is a verb. So, to age, it means to become older, you know? So, things which are, you know, things which get better in time. Which is cheese. <laughs> Wine whiskey and like some other types of alcohols rum and, and and stuff women of course ladies they look better and better yeah and men like i think people <laughs> in general you know like people i think when as they get, get older they usually look you know better and better name three reasons to give someone a gift First of all, no reason at all. It's nice when you give somebody something without any reason. You know, you're just in a supermarket and you think, oh, that person might like it. So you just buy it because you know that, you know, it will make someone else happy. So just, you know, for no reason, just for sharing and spreading happiness and kindness. That's a good reason, yeah. And then of course, birthdays, Weddings, anniversaries. Next one, name three garden tools. Um, shovels, um, rakes, uh, garden hose. What am I using? My hands, that's a great garden tool, yeah. Watering can. Um, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Name three ways of exercising. So you can go for a run. I love running. Um, then you can go to the gym and pump the iron. Yeah. Or lift some heavy weights. Then you can play some sport. I mean like a team sport, football, basketball, baseball, whatever. Walking. Do you know? Walking. People underestimate walking a lot it's an exercise you know walking is good for you you know yeah go for a walk go for a walk yeah um name three things that smell nice uh, name three of your favorite smells for me is the smell of fresh bread and guess what can you guess can you guess cheese <laughs> And actually the smell of my dog, yeah, like fun fact, like it's uh, when I saw him after a longer period of time uh, He smelled disgusting, but now I just love it even when he is wet. I think you know that smell it means love So yeah, the smell of my the smell of my doggy. I think he smells lovely It's probably really disgusting and awful to other people, but I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, my doggy. Name three things that make you laugh. Yeah, my dog. My doggy. <laughs> yeah. Are there some people like my boyfriend? Yeah, he's got a great sense of humor. Then uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, and his films. I love him. I love him as a as a person and I love his characters in films and yeah, yeah, yeah. When I do something stupid or when I say something stupid, yeah, then I have to laugh because it's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Name three things you would do if you could fly. Uh, 
I would travel more and I would uh, I would start a travel agency and I would um, take people on holidays. It would be a great business. It would be fly with me, yeah, kind of a yeah <laughs> company and because you know taking the plane takes a long time, so it could just yeah fly. It would be a great way of transportation, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would love that. Name three ways to make money really fast. Um, so you can try to, to bet, like betting on football or ice hockey or something like that. I don't recommend that, you know, like it's, it's not like gambling, gambling, but still I think it's a great way of losing money as well. You can try to win lottery. You can steal the money. Yeah. You can rob a bank, you know, just, just walk in, ask for the money. They will give it to you. Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. Like you can sell your things. As, as well, you know, whatever you've got, you can try to sell it on the internet and stuff, you know? Now, name three ways um, to lose money really fast. So, the same... <laughs> Basically what I've said before, right? You know, like lottery, you can you can lose money when you are betting, you can lose money. Um, when you rob a bank, um, you will lose everything and you will end up in a prison. Yeah. Now, uh, name three things which are scary. Spiders and other insects. Like, I don't know. The thing is that they cannot hurt you, can they? But still, you know, maybe it's those like eight legs or something. They just look really scary, especially when they're like big, like, no, I don't like them. Heights, yeah, when you go up high onto some lookout tower or something like this. Yeah, I don't like heights. Yeah, that, that's a bit scary, yeah. Climbing also, yeah, by the way, climbing the word climb you know i know there is a b at the end but we do not pronounce it all of the words like majority of the words that end with the b the b is silent there so bomb thumb we don't say climbing but climbing bombing thumbs we don't have thumbs that's even difficult to pronounce isn't it um name three things that a dog can do but a cat can't expressing love that's the first one you know cats don't give a damn about you you know as much or maybe maybe you can have a really expressive cat but i don't think so they just give you more they are always really happy when they see you and yeah it's it's really cool yeah swimming my doggy is a great swimmer so they they yeah they can swim not all of them of course it really depends destroying everything you know, like dogs are really good at destroying things, you know, shoes, things in your garden, garden hoses. Yeah, my dog destroyed pretty much everything. He even pulled trees out of the ground. Yeah, so doggies are really good at testing your patience. Yeah, name three movies or films that made you cry. Uh, pretty much everything. <laughs> Because I do cry when there is this like sad moment, but also when there is a happy moment. So the last time I cried was uh, when I watched, yeah, The Guardians of the Galaxy. There was this moment at the end with this song from the Florence and the Machine, I think, and that was a that was a happy cry. Yeah. Then obviously Titanic. All of those romantic films that end badly, where like the main character basically dies there like it makes me emotional i'm a very emotional person so pretty much like all of the films <laughs> name three body parts that you have injured throughout your life so i broke my ankle the right one yeah i broke my nose when i was young anything else basically my knees my elbows yeah, in my childhood, we spent a lot of time outside, so my 
yeah all of my body parts were constantly bruised and cut and and stuff so name three things which are boring grammar exercise <laughs> translations <laughs> yeah history lessons in school yeah i didn't enjoy school as much yeah my, most of those uh, classes were boring and most of my teachers were boring then uh name three remedies to cure a cold or a flu when i get ill i go with more like natural remedies so um some ginger tea with honey and lemon sweating yeah, I think that's great when you just get into bed or you have a bath and then you get into bed and you try to sweat it out. And when that is not working, then I would I would get some of those pills or these like magical drinks um, with some paracetamol in them or, or something. Name three things you shouldn't do in a car. you should not be calling anybody yeah although like you can you can have a hands-free or, or something like this but still you know it distracts you i know a lot of people do it but i wouldn't recommend it you know you should pay attention to the the, the road you should not be scrolling your phone yeah anything like doing anything on your phone yeah that's dangerous you should not be speeding yeah yeah keep the limit you know it's not worth it putting yourself in dangerous situations because some people they do some crazy shit on the road and yeah sometimes it's it's dangerous just just chill drive safely you know be responsible name three variations of coffee um cappuccino espresso <laughs> I love just classic yeah coffee with milk which is called americano I guess oh americano with with milk yeah nothing fancy I'm not like the yeah like very fussy name three things you can collect well you can collect anything right but the most typical ones would be I don't know stamps does anybody collect stamps <laughs> Pokemon cards. Oh my god, who remembers those times? Yeah, and uh, cards of ice hockey players. Oh my god, my brother, he had a great collection of those. Yeah, well, I collect plants, obviously. Yeah, that's my yeah lovely collection. Little obsession. Yeah, and collect memories. Yeah, good, happy memories. You know, adventures. You know, traveling you know, new experiences, yeah. Name three characters you would dress up as, a um, Halloween party or like a fancy dress party. So I would dress up as a cowboy girl or cowgirl, right? <laughs> cowboy girl. <laughs> yeah, like, like a cowboy, cowgirl, yeah. Yeah, I always wanted that for whatever reason. I've never done it, but you know, having like the the cowboy hat and cowboy boots and you know just jeans and flannel shirt. Yeah, just keeping it simple. I like that one. Or a witch. Yeah, I've done that in the in the past. Yeah, dress up as a witch. Oh, my dog. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I would dress up as um, princess. No, no, I'm not very princessy. Type, yeah, that's some superhero, yeah, like a Wonder Woman, yeah, S -s -s super, super woman, something like that. Okay, name three school subjects. Um, history, um, physics, <laughs> English, <laughs> English, mathematics, chemistry. Where is it? This is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Three most beautiful cities you have ever been to. So, Brighton, definitely. I love that one. Look there, London is my favorite one as well. I loved Paris. A lot of people didn't like Paris, but I really liked that one. 
and Budapest. Budapest is a really, really, really beautiful city. I really enjoyed that one. Yeah, basically everywhere where there is water, you know, either a river in the middle of the city or the sea. Yeah, I love that. I, I, I don't know why. I don't like swimming, but I love like sitting by the water and just, you know, watching the sunset, you know, like getting reflected in the water, you know. <laughs> Lovely and romantic. Name uh, three mistakes you have learned from. Be careful when you walk down the stairs because I broke my ankle and don't trust people. <laughs> I mean, you know, be like, trust them, be nice to them, be, be, be kind, but be always a little bit wary. You know, some people are assholes, yeah, and they can. <laughs> In case you are cooking something new, buy double amount of ingredients, yeah, because there is a high probability that you will mess it up. <laughs> good. Or maybe it's just me because I'm not a good cook, um, but I always have to buy a double because I usually, yeah, when it's my first attempt, um to, to cook something i usually mess it up so name three words that you would like people to describe you with yeah i'm obviously thinking about my job and i i got some compliments that really kind of like that they melted my heart and that was when they said that the lessons with me were fun which I love. Like I think, like being funny or witty is a is a is a one of the best compliments uh, that I made people feel comfortable. Is there some adjective for that? When people feel good for you and they're like, yeah, like I'm not stressed when I'm talking to you and I just feel relaxed. Um, so when people like like being in your company, I think that's a, that's a great compliment as well. Trustworthy. When people can trust you and you are not an asshole <laughs> when you are just 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 kind and people like they 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 trust you yeah like can you name three ways of cheating in an exam i'm the master of that i am the master of this because i hated school and i hated studying <laughs> And the best uh, thing for me was uh, using these like creep sheets. Yeah, I think they are called creep sheets. And I would keep a little piece of paper um, in my sleeve. Yeah, and then I would pull it out. But the best way, best way, oh my god, I remember, I remember. The best way was having one of these like classic see-through pens, like really, really basic ones. And I would put a tiny little piece of paper inside. And it was great um, because when the teacher was walking around, I would just like hold it in my hand like this, and I'd be like, hmm, oh my God, just pretending that I was thinking. And when the teacher was like in the front of the classroom, I would just hold it like this, and I was able to read all of the information like that yeah so the teacher couldn't see it like when he was standing in front of me and when he was at the back i would just hold it or i would just hide it in my in my hair or, or something yeah. i recommend i really recommend the last one that i like to ask usually is if you can name three things that make you happy So obviously for me, it is my doggy. Yeah, he makes me really happy. I just love him so much. He's my baby. Um, yeah, a lovely weather, a beautiful sunny day. And then in the evening when you can just sit outside and you have a, some lovely drink, like some piña colada or something, and you are watching the sunset and you are just, I don't know, with your favorite person, just sitting outside and just chatting and, yeah, just enjoying the beautiful weather. And of course, I love watching the improvement of my students that they make every single lesson as they are becoming more and more comfortable and they are, they are like falling in love with English. And yeah, it just becomes easier and easier and they are just having a good time. And yeah, yeah, that's the best feeling in the world. So, alrighty, so that is that. I hope you um, practiced 
your English well enough and I hope you had fun and it was it was a good exercise for you anyway I will see you in the next video I'm wishing you a fantastic day stay happy and healthy and I will catch you later